So y'all know it's not a miss. Oh, that's cool. It's alive! What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Sorry for the wait. I have not touched that car in a very, very long time. Um, things just haven't been going my way, you know? Doing stuff like this is expensive. I haven't really had the money, so it just kind of sat. So I've been doing a lot of stuff on the uh, sedan. That was like real cheap stuff and, you know, a lot of stuff you know like kind of free just fixing it so um but anyways got some stuff for this thing we're gonna start getting back into it things are starting to pick up for me so um let's get into it so the last time you saw this thing we installed the entire turbo kit right and after you know adding the turbo kit you know that adds boost which is air so now that you're adding air you got to equal it with fuel so we got over there we got a fuel pump from rally road racing um, it's a 450 pump, which is supposed to be good for up to like 600 horsepower and it can handle E85, which I will be end up doing E85, not right away. I'll probably just do like a simple pump gas tune just to make sure everything's good before I started pump up the pump up the boost and all that. But, um, got the, got the fuel pump. Then we got a, we got 60 pound injectors, which is also good for E85. A lot of people say the 60 pound injectors is enough. Um, and then we have a fuel pump relay kit. Now I got the relay kit from a friend, shout out to Dad Bod Garage on YouTube. Um, he knows we're actually, we're kind of doing the same thing. Like he just had, you know, a child and I just had a child and we're both have turbo E36 builds in our garage and we're kind of, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to make it work. So I think um, he might be a little bit further than me, but I can't tell, I don't know, mine's on the ground. I think his is still on jack stands, but we both got our first start and all that stuff. But I guess we're not trying to race each other, but it feels like we're trying to race each other. But anyways, he had this um, fuel pump uh, relay kit that he used and he sent it to me. So I tried to follow his video, which you guys can go check out his video too. And um, he installed the relay kit and I'm really not good with wiring. So I kind of got lost. So as far as that part, I'm gonna have to do that part and then I'll figure out how to tell you guys how I did it because I'm not gonna be able to tell you do this, do this, do this because hell, I don't know. But anyways, let's see what we got. So here's the fuel pump and all the accessories it comes with from Rally Road. Um, this is the actual fuel pump right here. It's got a pigtail on the top with another connector, which I don't think we're gonna use, but every, um, every you know, aftermarket fuel pump always comes with that, like so. But I don't think we're gonna use it. Uh, figure it out in a second. Comes with the um, whatever you want to call it. Sits at the bottom. Here's the old fuel pump. This was already removed from Ebony because remember I was having a problem with the sedan and it just wouldn't start. And I thought it was a fuel pump, but it just kind of fixed itself. And I still have the fuel pump from Ebony, so I didn't actually need it. Um, don't worry about that. That's another video. All right, and here are the injectors. I didn't actually get them from Fuel Injection Connection. I got them from TRM. Uh, these are actually sized. So you, you go to TRM and you can actually search. I think you just search E36 stuff and you'll find them. The Siemens DECA 60 pound injectors. Now, these are for E36. These are for E36. So if you don't have an E36 and you want some 60 pound injectors, find them for your car. The reason these are shape this way is because they're you know supposed to be direct bolt on and sometimes you have to run adapters and stuff like that for other ones but these fit directly for e36 and 50 s50 and 52 etc e36 engines so these are direct bolt on direct fit for e36 so that's why i got them from trm all right so first thing we're gonna do is swap this pump in here you know take it off these things and we're gonna do this wiring looks like i've already done this in the past surprisingly they got a fuel pump go out in ebony like six years ago maybe and i had to splice another fuel pump because i just found just the pump i didn't find the whole holster and then i just put the pump in there and spliced into the wire so i mean it worked so we're basically gonna be doing that again so that's why i said we're not going to be using the pigtails because if I just want to use the factory, I just want to use the factory wires and that way I can use the factory connector. And then from the factory connector, we'll splice into the relay. 
yeah, so I'm not actually gonna use this. I know what you're thinking. If you're just gonna use a factory harness, why do you still need a relay? Well, because if you're using a bigger pump, bigger pump takes more amperage, more voltage and all that stuff. So your factory fuel pump is on a 15 amp fuse under your hood and you're just gonna blow that. So, I mean, it's not gonna last. You might get a day or two out of it and you're just gonna blow it in another fuse and you're gonna blow it. And you can probably put a bigger fuse in there, but then you got a chance of setting your car on fire because it's too much amperage going to your fuse box for that fuse. It's supposed to be 15 amps. So it's better to just do a relay. All right, so first I'm gonna remove this uh, holster thing. Um, I'm just gonna take a flat head and remove these little ru rubber things. I mean, they're supposed to be rubber. They're super old plastic now, but they should still flex. And I just make the best of it. Try not to break it, because I don't want to find another one. There's one. Bear with me a little bit. Haven't done this in years. <laughs> Shit. Okay, there, now it's loose. Gonna undo these hoses and these wires. Um, don't snip all the wires, just snip the ones that are going to your fuel pump. And um, that's all I got so far. Problem is this thing is so old and it's so hard now that it really doesn't wanna move. I mean, this is supposed to be rubber. Doesn't sound like it. This job sucks. I'm already upset. Be back in a minute. All right, it is finally free. Um, that was a little pain in the ass trying to get that old hose off, but um, yeah, I just had to cut it, cut slits in it, and poke it, and all that stuff. I had to use a bunch of stuff and break it off piece by piece, but it is free. And your new hose will just slip right on. So this will now go in its place. Click the wiring right here, like I already had it. Um, red is positive, brown is negative. For, for some reason, the OEM doesn't have red and uh, black. It's just brown and light brown, but obviously I had it right because my fuel pump works, so my red and my black. And then match your red and the black. And this uh, thing will go over here and hold it in place. guys I'm back again <laughs> sorry like I said this part is a little confusing never did this before I mean I never did half this stuff before but this is a uh... part of me when didn't even want to like film this I was dreading filming this because I knew I was gonna mess up some stuff but um and really be confused but I know a lot of you guys really love this information so I'm doing it for you because part of me wanted to just throw this stuff in and be done but okay so I was confused because this doesn't fit over this you know, you got the ridge right here, which you're supposed to. So you have to remove this. You have to remove this because that's already attached to the bottom. And there's actually a slot for it. Then you take this, put that in there, push it all the way down to it clicks. There, heard that? And now you got a little bit of extra slack at the bottom. Now you put this back. Then you put this on here and tighten it up, and then that will hold it in place. So there's actually enough room just to get this on here. So you gotta take this thing completely apart and then do it. There we go. There, now it's tight, not going anywhere. Okay, cool. Woo! Figured it out. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and put the bottom part on, and we're just gonna take this thing off, slip this on. It was a uh, little star grip thing and that's gonna push right there in that dot so that should just be it just push it straight on so that part's done now we're gonna put maybe do the wire part I mean the hose 
be one hose there and one hose at the top. Now they did give you two things. They gave you two hose clamps, you know, one for the top, one for the bottom. And they gave you some connectors because they, just in case you want to splice it right there, which we're doing. So let's get these old ones off. I got to remember which one is positive and negative. Hold on. I got to take a picture because I'm going to forget. Like I said, I've already swapped this other pump. Um, if you have a factory, you know, just OEM factory pump, you yours won't be, you know, taped up like mine. <laughs> All right, old wire connectors are gone. Already, uh, yeah, we're ready to uh, put them together. Let's do the hose first. The hose has a lot of slack, so let's go ahead and do the hose. Now there's two. They gave you two. They gave you one that. You only use once. Yeah, I guess that can go on top. And this one, you know, you can use whenever you need to. So, um, wait, why did they do that? Why do they give me one that I can't use again? Because if I take it apart, it's going to break. I'm going to use my own, my own hose clamp. Got them right here. Our fuel pump is back on the hanger. Look at that it's floating! Yay! And uh, so you're gonna have to do a full loop to loop to get it on this one in the back. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Probably should have put that on first now. But uh, I don't want to take this thing out. I might have to. I don't want to. But I can also see how much slack I have for. The wires, I'm glad I didn't cut them first because I would have been too short because I probably would have cut them there and that would have been way too much. So, And I completely forgot which one is positive and negative. It's exactly why I took a picture, so I'll be able, I'll be able to do that. So let me, let, me, let me do this and I'll be back because I'm going to burn up all this damn footage. Camera, camera battery going to die by the time I finish this. And thanks to YouTube magic, fuel pump is done. Boy, I tell you, when I cut this camera off, I be cussing. <laughs> Boy, I be up here mad. Anyways, everything's done now. The other hose is on there. It was so hard to get that thing all the way down to the bottom. It took some force and some cuss words. And I also got the, um, the fuel pump wiring, the wires. Got those together. Um, I actually didn't use the little butt connectors or whatever they were that they came with i don't really trust those things that much so i decided to solder them um i'm not a great solderer and i'm not going to show you my work because i don't want y'all laughing at me in the youtube comments but trust me they together they together as fuck probably over together but it is together and then i put the tape on there so um you can't see nothing but uh yes fuel pump is done let's put this back in the car All right, guys, fuel pump is back in. Um, like I said, you got factory connectors. The white cord is the fuel pump, and the black one is for the fuel level fuel level sender. And they just plug into the you know OEM position. And but off the white cord is where I'm gonna have to run. Um, I'm about to split it up and run some wires to run the relay, which of course I don't know how to do yet. And then from there. You know it'd be good to go but fuel pump is in i don't have a way to check it because there's no battery in this car but i'm just going to assume it works so i don't know if it don't work then it don't work <laughs> but fuel pump is installed all right now let's get these old injectors out of here these little pink tops um this is an m50 rail if you have an m52 this is silver and you would actually have you should have green injectors on an M50 rail, but I have pink because I do. To remove this, um, you got your feed line in the front. Then you have a sensor. You might have a sensor. I think you don't always have a sensor. I think it's depending on M50 or M52. But um, if you do, you can remove it. You're going to have two bolts right here, which are already removed. And then your uh, return line. And then you have, again, on the M50, you have your 
factory fuel pressure regulator. It has a vacuum hose on it. Make sure you get that off too. Don't rip that because you'll have vacuum leaks. You'll never know what the hell going on. And it'd be annoying. And your oxygen sensor is here. I only have one because I'm doing turbo. So I gotta get, I don't have to take that off. It's not even plugged into anything. So I'm gonna take these off and then eat that out of there. And we can change these injectors. All right, so this is up in the air. I wasn't gonna take the whole thing off, but I got a lot of play right here, so I don't need to. So let's go ahead and get these off. Uh, see if I remember. All right, to remove injectors, you have a metal clip right here, and then a, another metal C clip right here. This twist, you can turn it sideways, and then you literally just push it off. Please do not drop anything in the engine bay. I gotta be careful, hold on. I need my hands. I need my hands. Okay. That's one. It's uh, shaped like a square. It pushes in that way and you can rotate it so it's out of the way. And another one is a small metal thing that comes off kind of the same way. It's a whole lot easier though. That's just, that's just wrapped around the uh, thing. You just pull from that side flex it and then just kind of pull it out so you gotta I mean, it's not hard nothing crazy and then just wiggle it free and there we go and then big old o-ring pull it down it's gonna be tough because it's got a big old o-ring and that's how you remove injectors so here are the aftermarket plugs the 60 pound siemens Siemens. <laughs> so, so here's the aftermarket ones. They're um, you see they're same exact size, same exact connector, and they're just literally just plug and plug and play. Obviously, you need a tune, but there you go. I think you have to take this green thing off there and put it on here because these don't come with them. But you see they got brand new O-rings, and for the O-rings to squeeze in, you're gonna put a little bit of oil. I think people use oil or grease or something. And just to make sure, you know, it goes in straight and gets a nice snug fit. You don't want a leaky injector because that will uh, that break some shit. Okay, so I did end up removing the whole rail. I'm probably going to leave it off because I'm going to have to take this off again because I forgot to tap this for like boost gauges and stuff. So um, there's really not a lot of areas you can tap into for boost. You could tap in here, but I'm not messing with my brakes because if that line comes loose. I don't have any brakes and I need brakes. Yes, here is the fuel rail. Um, just talk to somebody, uh, a couple of people actually, you do not need this cap. Um, people run without it, especially with uh, aftermarket injectors because it's supposed to spray a lot and that kind of limits some of the spray. So don't swap the cap. I mean, I'm glad because that most likely would have broke. I mean, those, those are super fragile and these are, yeah. So I can actually, I don't know. You might need some M52 injectors, you know. I got some. So let's just go ahead and uh, lube these up, put these in there, and we'll call it a day. All right, now it's time to put these in the uh, fuel rail. I'm not using the panel cap, and uh, just put a little bit of oil in a in a water bottle cap and some liquid Molly, you know. And it's gonna go around, touch this. Uh, this is ring and just pop it on in there. And that's it. And repeat. There you go. Injectors. Alright guys, well fuel pump is done, injectors are done, not installed because I need to put them back on the rail. I'm not doing that right now. Um, still got to do this, so um, I will figure this out and I will get back with you. But for now I'm done. But I'm going to figure this out.
All right, guys. This is the day after um, the fuel pump relay is finally installed and it actually works. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I did in a second. But shout out to I'm um, Joel on YouTube. He has a M52 Turbo E30, and he ran that same relay kit that I have, and he explained it very, very well. So I pretty much followed his exact instructions, and I got it. So uh, I'll show you what I did and. You could probably go back and look at his video. He could probably explain it better, but I'll try to, I'll show you what I did, but um, it, it works. Now the instructions on the relay kit are actually pretty clear, but um, again, I'm kind of stupid when it comes to this stuff. But um, so basically you go from your battery, you got your red switch, it goes to a circuit breaker, circuit breaker to the relay, and your relay basically goes to fuel pump and your ignition switch, and I'll show you all that stuff. This is the short version. All right, so here's where the relay is mounted. It's in the trunk, and I just got a self-tapping screw behind the top of the relay um, just into this metal frame right here. And then off that, it has a ground wire that just goes, you know, because the relay needs to be grounded. And that's just, just self-tapped right here. It's also grounded. Then you got a red wire. The red wire goes to the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker comes with it, so just self-tap that also in the same area. And so you got red connect to here and then you split the red because one the red wire is very very long and then you split that and connect the other side to here these all come with it your little uh whatever you call them and you just drag that down to the battery and then you connect that to the battery so that's all you do for the circuit breaker and the red now here's your um other two like i said there's only four coming off the relay ground red and then you got two yellow ones the thick boy the thick yellow goes to the fuel pump it even says it on there i don't know if you can see it goes to the fuel pump and the thin one goes to a 12 volt switch which will we will use the fuel pump wiring so let's go inside the car all right so here we are inside the car now and uh i told you guys earlier the white cord was the fuel pump my bad it's the black one the black one is a fuel pump these are very thin wires, so that's definitely not fuel pump. The thicker wires are for the fuel pump. So the black one is the fuel pump. Um, so you got your green and purple. That is your positive for the uh, fuel pump. Your brown is your ground. You're going to leave the brown alone. Don't touch the brown. The brown is, since we're using the factory switch, the brown is already grounded wherever the harness goes. So your thick boy, you just splice that into... Your positive, you just take that line, these two, you notice that's brown and green too. That actually was just one line, and I just cut them in half. So this thick boy that goes to fuel pump, straight like that, and the thin one goes into the rest of it. So this is your 12 volt switch. And by that I mean, that's like your ignition switch. So if you turn the key, it's gonna send your ignition power through here, and it would go, into the fuel pump like it would regularly but instead it has to go through here the part where you cut it put the thin one the thin one goes into the relay and the relay powers the fuel pump with the thick wire so cut that one wire in half thick boy on the um, fuel pump side thin boy on the ignition side and that's it so I can't start it right now because uh, for one, my battery is a super, 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 super dead. Like super, 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 super dead. Like I can't even charge it anymore because it's super, 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 super dead. And uh, my um, jump box isn't strong enough to power it. Remember I tried to start it before and I couldn't do it with the jump box. Um, and also my fuel rail is still over there because it's not on. So, but I will turn it on. You will hear the fuel pump uh, buzz. And then I'll put the camera in the back and you can hear the relay click on and off. So that lets you know it's working. Okay, I just put my jump box back in so I can actually have some power going to the car. Um, this is, like I said, the white one is the fuel pump sensor. I mean, it's out for now. You don't need it right this second, but obviously I'll put it back in. But I'm gonna crank the car. I'll turn the ignition on and you'll hear this thing buzz. So I'll try to be quiet. Did you hear it? Do it again. So I hear the fuel pump. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I definitely hear it. All right, so now I'm gonna put you guys back here. Here's the relay. You can probably hear it click. Watch this.
Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I did it! <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this video. I was really dreading this uh, whole job. Like I said, um, throwing the pump in, a little confusing, but wasn't that bad. That I figured that wasn't the part I was worried about. But it was doing this whole relay kit, and I did it by myself. Well, with Joe's help, Joel's help. But uh, it's done. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Still got a lot of work to do in this car. Still need uh, like radiator and cooling fans, which will probably be next. Uh, still need a blow through math. Still need to do well the bung for my AFR gauge on my downpipe. I got a lot of stuff to do, man. So I'm gonna try to get this thing running, but that's uh it's another step closer. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you learned something. And uh go watch I'm Joel's videos, because you can learn stuff. Go watch uh Dad Bog Garage, you can learn stuff, and um yeah. BMWs, man, turbo BMWs. What up, fam? All right, y'all. Take care. Deuces.